Okay. Hello, Gorgies are on view. This time for our sale on the 18th of September. Yes. Yes. God, the month's flying by. It is. So, what have we got in the sale? Well, we're in the warehouse. It's slightly light on, it the, is, on the side of furniture. I think that reflects the uh, property sales and what have you that have been going on in the past couple of months. Also, summer holidays. And the summer holidays. But yeah. anyway, we have got some interesting things, such as this. Look this is great, isn't it? This is 1095. It's French, it's oak. What is it you say? Well, it's a bank of, um, it's basically a filing cabinet, I suppose. You've got side docking bars. You unlock the side bar like a sort of Wellington chest. Yeah. And then you can access the individual compartments that have little slots for name plaques. So I guess that would be for some kind of institution or government department. It's actually got one label here saying yes. journaux, which to my mind means papers. Ah. So I don't know that that easily uh, sheds any more light than otherwise. It's quite splendid. But there we go, rather splendid thing. Yeah. So what else have we got? Let's drift down the lines. Uh, eyes down on carpets as always. It's a mixture. Uh, I can see a good number running the whole way down the left of the cell room. Still got some garden. Garden coming in. still going on. Yeah. These ones you get some lavender. Sad lavenders. Windsor chairs. Lot eleven thirty. Got us, got four in the lot. They're not a set. We've got looks like to me a pair and two, mm -hmm. but uh, of, of similar sort of style. As is look, often look the at case. Uh, look at the wonderful yes, finish on these. Fun. Aren't they fun? Yeah, yes, fuzzy felt upholstery. Don't go too far. Come Squeezing here. past the rather large rhododendron in a pot, lock 1110. Mm -hmm. That'll be out for spring. Carrying on, quite a smart mule chest there. Little sort of panelling to the front. The colour's not too bad. Um, looks like the original feet. And, and next to it, a sort of concha, totally different, lock 1002. Is that bamboo? Bamboo moulding. It is. Right. Uh, this one, often they're sort of simulated bamboo yes. made out of beech, and I think that's the case for much of this, that may incorporate some bamboo. So there we go, that's 1002. Not a bad mm. little hall stand there. Nice, nice mirror as well. Nice mirror, yes, like exactly. That. We've seen yeah. a number of these, but this yes. is an unusually large one, 1003. Yes. Mm. Yep. Uh, if you've lost your wheels, Ah! Casters, look at that lovely lot of uh, old um, casters um, oh, of all shapes and sizes. Gosh. Somebody do something interesting with those. Got 1006. There's a number of um, enamel signs in the cell. Thousand pounds, sunlight, soap, guarantee of purity. Look at that lot of slot. 1203. It certainly does, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, next to it, if you've got a parrot, Sprats. you need some pa parrot food. Great sign. I mean, these yeah. signs. The whole thing about them seems is, is scarcity, so that the more obscure and rare the, uh, the thing being advertised, usually the more it makes. Not always, because obviously some products are more desirable. So rather smart, stylish mirrors here. Mm. I remember this one. I think this was in a sale many, many years ago. Gosh. And it's now back it's unusual, again. unusual, isn't it? I'm looking for a label and not seeing one. Maybe the. I think it might have been held for the mid century, sir. So. Oh, okay. So we'll come back to that on right. another occasion. But yeah. next to it, sort of 19th century, probably French example, lot 1010. Yep. In fair condition, a few little oh, yes. nicks and knocks. There yes. may have been a little crest on that or something. Uh, 1026, escutcheons, hinges, etc. Huh. Another lot of uh, more signs. Some balls? Balls. 1024. Five. Last yes. lot we had did quite well. They did really well, didn't they? Uh, more long benches, again, proving popular and in vogue at the moment. Croquet set? Yes. Yes, I'm not going to get too excited about croquet set, but there were more, more signs. signs. Uh, so carrying on round, how, here's something different, a cart on... <laughs> sort of and you're going to get excited about that instead. Go, that's, that's rather funny. fun. Yeah, that is lot 1046. Come to a milk Ah, show. maybe for Betty. Look. Fancy a bath. Yes, Betty. If you want to see an ice, ice bath. bath. We know someone who wants an yeah. ice bath, don't we? Yes. Uh, so this is lot 1045. Yeah. I wonder if it's waterproof. That would do the job. Yeah. Here we are, another one of these. Do you remember what it was? Uh, Wasn't it is, is that with, for terracotta pots? Wasn't it to do with wine bottle drying? Oh, uh, someone will tell us. God, we've forgotten already. Yes. It's, it's, uh, it's lot uh, 1069. Yeah. Uh, 1070, both front corner cabinets. You won't be seeing many more of these in the sales because we were trying it's to sell one popular, last Monday and I couldn't get £15 for it. No. So uh, they, people don't have corners anymore. They live in rounded rooms. <laughs> um, so, uh, yes. Oh, that's sadly, pretty. You could paint that. Well. But, yeah, you could paint that. 1071. Yeah, nice. Honest pine. Nice big tall long case clock. That is so tall. might call a London case. Lot 1074. 
Uh, we have got a maker here, William ooh, Grand uh, or something like that of London. Uh, so it is a London maker. Yeah, good smart clock that in what looks to be very nice clean condition. Uh, some Gosh, what urns. are these? Are they urns? Yeah, they're cast iron. They are very heavy, like Gosh, 1077. These are super, aren't they? Um, but they're, they're beautifully, chunkily moulded. Yeah, very shaggy carpet. Faded carpet, yes. Uh, here's a nice Wellington chest, 1078, in oak, honest condition, mm. much loved and used, but still ready to continue being used. Yep. We've got wire work plant stands. We've got what looks to be Urkel here. Um, let's have a look, does it say so? Yes, it does, Urkel, there we are. So, uh, lot 1058, mm. Urkel table and chairs. That's what the young people want these yes. days. They want to use all brown stuff. <laughs> uh, there's a nice big painted sort of wardrobe cabinet with open shelves alongside it. Should make someone very happy. Well, that's rather fun. This is a lovely big um, log bin or like what that. have you, like yeah. 1120. Look, great big Quite armorial small. on it, suggesting yes. it's sort of continental, sort of Dutch or what have you. Uh, we've got chimney pots and we've got a real offered totem pole. Oh yes, that so, didn't go. Uh, we have a huge <laughs> otter over there. Yes, I was just Size looking at otter. that. He's a big fella, isn't he? It's he a looks sea otter. Now. I don't know if he's faded, but he's 1114. Yes. And uh, so there we go. Let's go and look in the uh, smalls room and see what's there. Here we are in the strong room. Lots of goodies. The things are growing. They spring up like mushrooms great, um, for the fine cell. There's some nice bits. Roger just showed me some lovely bits of jewellery that have come in. And lots of nice bright red Cartier boxes over there. But let's My focus favorite. on... Get away from that, madam. Sorry. Let's focus on what's going on. So five years ago, I went to see a lady in Hove. Valued 70 lots of jewellery, didn't hear anything more, and cried about it ever since. And uh, <laughs> she walked in this week, saw Roger, and left 40 lots. She's kept all the really nice things, and who can blame her? But a really interesting lot, a lot of it sort of antique collector's jewellery. Uh, so let's have a little dig around. What's in this weekly sum? Yeah, so Look pretty. at that, dearie. 1925, turquoise and pearl, probably 15 it carat. It's tiny. And it's inscribed inside Dorothy... October 1892. Wow. That's so cool. It's so cute. Um, some classic sort of Edwardian bits there, but let's dig out some more. There's an interesting lot 1920. Very pretty. The pearl set ring. Yep. Uh, that's rather fun. Then next to it, 1921. It's it's gold plated, the fob, but there's a, a carved intaglio there yeah, with this figure with a sort of flaming ball dropping behind his head. Is that Haley and his comet? Oh, that's Ro Rog, Rog will remember. know. Haley and his comet. Do you think that's Haley and his comet? Haley's comet. Or Falling down behind him? Oh, I, oh I think it is now. Oh. I think it is now. Gosh, that's <laughs> 1921. Cool. There we go. What a discovery. 1922. Look, the original. Uh, very interesting ring, this. Look, so it's a, it's a pearl set memorial ring. Yes. With a little hair panel. And then a drop. Rose diamond and, and Mabe or Baroque pearl drop hanging from a chain. Is that unusual? Just, it's very unusual. Uh, and then the whole thing is on a sort of safety chain that is of some age. So I don't know whether it all started life together, but it's it's all together now. And in a rather fab um, red leather box, that's box. lot 1922. And these sort of early jewellery pieces are doing so well at the moment. There's a pretty curb link bracelet, Diddy Small. Yes. So uh, it's, Moonstone. It's so small. I mean, it's as if it's for a child. 1912. Yes, it's, it's curious, though, isn't it? Yeah. More old brooches, some watches. There's a nice ring again. 1930. Oh, Seen some repairs to the really shank, nice. been sort of cut and shut, so to speak. But uh, still, a good lot of jewellery. Plenty of other jewellery. There's what's in the cabinet below us. What did I see in here? Something caught my eye. Um, there, how about that? That's quite pretty, isn't it? Oh, that's lovely, yes. That's nice. That's lot, um, 1896. Very really pretty. Isn't it fab so, when we uh, get such a lovely selection? Love it. And that's just a weekly jewellery sale with, you know, 70, 80 lots of really, really good, you know, perfectly good jewellery. Great. Sleepers within Where there, no doubt. Where are we no going doubt. now? So, let's go and see the smalls. Okay. So, feature of this sale is the weapons, medals and tribal sections, uh, which we've all been pulling together on. And James has been cataloguing some rather good things in it. Let's have a look at 1263. Look at these. Me. York Mail, sort of blunderbuss. Uh, but not one. Let's have a pair. There we go. When you say York Mail, is this to protect them? the mail coach? I would imagine to keep sort of Dick Turpin from oh, robbing so the mail coach or what have you. Flintlocks. So they're rather splendid, aren't they? Aren't they? Um, a, a array of different pistols, uh, of varying ages. Right. Uh, lovely little Diddy one there. That looks. It's a sort of pen knife. Looks like it might blow your fingers off. Look. Twelve sixty-eight. Yes. Twelve sixty-nine. 
uh, French, I imagine, fichards. And again, nice pair of pistols, uh, particularly because they are a pair. Nice. Um, with the uh, masks to the uh, oh, look at to those. the terminals. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's so good. rather fun. Those nice. Oh, fun. So yeah, on a whole array, there's some percussion cap pistols down here. Yep. More blunderbusses, selection of swords, commando knives, all sorts of bits and pieces there. Fantastic. And then in addition, we've got some medals, and we've got a bit of little bit of tribal, not a huge amount, but uh, a good mixture there. So that's the start of the smalls. Begins with lot two fifty and runs through. Okay. Have a good look at that. Yeah. And we keep continuing these specialist sales. Yes, another Coins. military sale on the twentieth of November. So if anyone does want to yep, consign, exactly. they're not too late. Twentieth November, we yeah. begin taking in for now. Yes, uh, let's poke around around the back. Uh, have a little look at that chair. There we go. Um, so the usual array of curiosities, a little Jaeger Lacoutre desk timepiece there, 1530. Nice. Some monkey band figures there. Um, from memory, Rudelstadt Volkstead, uh, lot 1535. Good oh, lot we've got of... more of these. The two can Oh, Guinness. yeah, more Guinness. Yeah, yeah. there's quite Get an array of those. I do like the emu. I think these might be the later issues, 15th, some of them anyway. Yeah, the emu's fun. Yeah. Uh, there, cricket. Oh, look at that. Lovely cricket toast Isn't rack nice? with the stumps, what lovely prezi. bats, and the balls. Really nice, that. That's yeah. lot uh, 1544. And um, you brought this home and. Um, Did I? Yeah, you showed me. I think he's got the lovely 1543, space. yep, there we go. An Indian Isn't miniature. He super? We'll have got the scientist like permit for that. Yeah, yeah. he's fun, isn't yeah. he? Uh, I'm seeing some artist boxes down the bottom. Uh, uh, the usual big selection of silver. There's a fancy frame. Oh, that's uh, enamel. That looks like an Aspro or something. Lot 1851. It looks like Aspro, Madam says. It is signed. Oh, get the eyes, Clifford. Upside down. No, it's not. It's made in Italy and it's retailed by Hamilton. Oh, well, there we are. It's but nice, uh, though, you're it? close. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it would have been it was the right thought. Um, plenty so, of uh, candlesticks. Plenty of candlesticks. Lots of silver down here. Another timepiece there, lot 1801. Oh, I like this. This is sweet, isn't it? Yes, that's rather fun, isn't yeah. it? With some dwarf candlesticks. Yes. I can see some inkwells down there. Um, lots of case nice sets dish. of flatware and oh, things. That's fab, isn't it? Nice big bowl there. Yeah, yeah. Oyster, that is lot number 1849. Mm. Um, it might not be English by the look of it. Looks like that might be a continental one. And that's pure silver, is it? Well, Rog will have said so, and I think if it wasn't, he wouldn't have put it behind the counter because he's okay. very fussy. If it's not silver, he's not. He, he slings it out. Um, right. So yes, I think this is continental silver, so it might be a sort of 800 nice standard, shape. but it is still silver. Yep. There's an Indian tea set at the back here. These always do well. <laughs> the cobra surprised. handle, elephant knob, and you've got the very other matching pieces with it. Nice little brandy warming pan, lot 1845. What's, what's um, in front of them? And these look like they're just sort of ornaments, 1843. Ah. Bully, yes. Oh, yes. Gosh. Um, yeah, 1843, there we go. So they appear to be just sort of paperweights or what right. have you. Maybe they're the um, Order of Butchers or something like ah, that. Okay. Um, speculating there. Um, oh, I saw this ages ago. <laughs> uh. And I thought this was amazing. It obviously didn't sell before. 1569, William Smith. What's in this? The best cribbage board. You've been out I think you're likely to see. I think this is the one I saw. I saw one in Brighton years ago, or a few years ago, with a with a nice early set of playing cards. Look, that's really smart, isn't it? And uh, you and the, just the one peg, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, rather splendid cribbage board Mother there. I guess not enough people play cribbage. Fifteen sixty nine, down below it, fifteen seventy three. A rather smart uh, Chinese lacquer playing card box, ah. um, full of amazingly big. Aren't they super? That's Those are, pearl. yeah, they're monogrammed. So they were individ This set was commissioned for a single gentleman rather than just buying the standard sort of yes. model. And those are unusually large. So that's, and look, his monogram is also on the box. So that's pretty cool. You don't, yes. you don't, it, coat of arms, if we we're going to be picky, a coat of arms would be really nice. Um, the other side of them have little figures. There's a man fishing in that one. And what have we got? A chap with some shields. Ah. 
So they're, they're a rather superior set of gaming counters. Great. Lot um, 1573. Uh, I can see pens, I can see marbles. Oh, marbles, I used to collect marbles. Well, whatever happened to them? Some of them yeah. are very valuable. You lost your marbles. Yeah, yeah always. Show so, us some, right. some art as well, please. Art as well. Okay, well, let's talk about Edward Wesson. Ah, Always quite good popular. Start. That yeah. looks like um, Norfolk or somewhere, doesn't it? It's Suffolk, Walberswick, Suffolk. Nice. Um, nice little Wesson, that. That's what, 1665. Another one next to it. Um, I think the art this week is more decorative. Simon Palmer, he's, he's a popular name. It's a fairly small print Late there. Late summer and over the hill. Over the hill, 1660, mm. yeah. Um So yeah, there's an array of art in the sale. Great. Um, for all tastes, hopefully. Then otherwise, our usual mix of ceramics, clops. Oh, this one's fun. 1349, again this rings a bell, I've seen this, uh, French, but what's unusual is it's got a musical plinth to it. So change and tones, and there's a musical box built into this base. Oh. Pull this pull this cord and something should happen. It's not happening now, but um, it probably needs a, a bit of wind up. Ah. Oh, there we go. Fabulous, eh? I think it would drive me nuts quite quickly. Well, yes, it probably will. It probably won't stop for half an hour now. But anyway, there we go. It's a great thing. Love it. Um, bit of Claris. We had some Claris last week. We're on a roll. 1339. Nice jazzy pattern, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. Nice and bold. Always reminds me of, um, what's his name on um, Antiques Roadshow? Who loves it so much? Who's that? Oh, Claris. Oh, right. Yeah, Will Farmer or whatever. Yes. Uh, Colour glass bells. Used to see a lot of these. Don't so anymore. Uh, but here's your opportunity. There's eight in that lot, 1371. Um, some uh, Charlotte Reed, Crown Ducal pottery, I would say. Now that one's not actually, that one's Clues Chameleon Wear, but the dish below, 1375. Yes. I put my shirts on. Yeah, there we go. Charlotte Reed, Crown Ducal. Um, so nice big charger there. Like that. Looks like you might be getting the vase and cover with it as well. So uh, that's rather good. WMF mirror. Oh, that's fancy. Look at it that. Is that's, fancy. that's early that Moorcroft, 1394. Oh, yeah, I guess it's a potpourri, isn't it? It's it's almost more ceramic. There we are, McIntyre Moorcroft. Right. In fact, we haven't even got the Moorcroft yet. It's still McIntyre and Co. They develop into Moorcroft. Looks like there might have been a plated rim, or oh, does that okay. sit over it? No, that sits perfectly over it. So there we go. Yes. Rather unusual thing. Yes. Um, hummingbirds. Ooh. Ooh, she says dogs are oh, better better um post boxes shaped like Stoked. century boxes or like a outside oh, yes, loo i'm not sure which popular. that one's outside loo not <laughs> not great. that old but um <laughs> it's still rather fun ah. this is good he said uh lot 1412 look they're, they're acrobats you see she's ah. got the hoop and yes. they're 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 doing their thing yes. all the way round, and then no obvious mark to it, but a, a, a man at the bottom with a big ribbon. Yeah. So uh, there we go. That's quite fun. Just fun. Uh, I don't know if we know any more. Rather nice racehorse, sir. Very nice racehorse. In is it cold? Yeah, I think that's in. Do you think it's I in think bronze? Think that's in bronze. Yeah, yeah. 1409. Nicely modelled. Hope we found the artist. If it's signed, we will have done. Yes. If it's not. Is we that may another have done. one of those the plates? Your eyes in now, madam. Good. 1460. Yes, another Charlotte Reed. I do like those. I they're think rather they're nice, really, aren't they? Really they're nice. Huge yeah. Varieties of colour and tone and what have you. Um, material. Is that? Uh... Well, this is a paisley shawl, I would imagine. Oh, okay. Lot 1463, right. along with some other nice. um, textiles yeah. in the lot. There's some. This looks like heron. Mm ashtray and other bits and pieces so as ever an array of things uh, some um, bigger uh, art bits down bigger there. art yes yes, the, um, yes i was just looking at the boats and the that's quite a fun yeah the boats are quite fun yes and the they? bridge and yeah. so on uh just Who's signed that? sheridan i don't think we found out who sheridan um, was okay. it's got a fairly amateur sort of look to yeah. it nice um, but yes all sorts of curiosities as ever so do come along and have a look 700 lots i believe so yes, it's, it's a, a good nice sale, decent, isn't it? You know, the furniture might be a bit light, but everything else is packing yeah, a punch. It's really good. So that's fab. And um, so we've deadline got, for yeah, fine sale, exactly. Tuesday of next week. Yeah, and also Lux. And Lux sale, deadline Tuesday next Tuesday week. Tuesday next week. absolute push. Lovely lot coming up for Lux. We've, we're doing so well mm. with Lux. So Rain if anyone has shops. got anything really lovely, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Yeah, it's got to be lovely or you won't product. take it, will yeah. you? Yeah, no, I won't. No, there we go. No. Vicky. So, yes. Good. 
Okay, lovely. Thank you very much for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you again.